partnership formation. Okay. Kanina, yung discussion natin ng partnership formation is between individuals na walang mga existing business. Ngayon naman, partnership formation pa rin tayo, pero a sole proprietor and an individual without existing business form a partnership. So, this time, sole proprietor, meron ng existing business plus individual na walang existing business form a partnership. Meron tayong sample problem dito. The statement of financial position of Leopoldo Medina on October 1, 2019 before Chalo, Chaloner Matero as partners is shown below. Okay, nandito yung balance sheet ni Leopoldo Medina. Siya yung sole proprietor. Ang magiging partner niya, si Chaloner Matero, siya naman yung individual na walang existing business. Sa balance sheet ni Medina, meron siyang cash, notes receivable, accounts receivable, allowance for uncollectible accounts, inventory, furniture and fixtures, accumulated depreciation. Meron siyang notes payable, accounts payable, and yung kanyang capital. Ang date ng partner or ang date ng formation ng partnership nila is October 1, 2019. Chaloner Matero offered to invest cash to get a capital credit equal to one half of the Leopoldo Medina's capital after giving effect to the adjustment below. Medina accepted the offer. So, si Chaloner Matero, mag-i-invest siya ng cash na equivalent sa one half ng capital ni Medina after giving effect yung mga adjustment. And Medina accepted the offer. Ang partnership ay nabuo ng October 1, 2019. And eto yung mga adjustments na dapat i-consider bago sila mag-form ng partnership. Ang mga adjustments in accordance with the partnership agreement ay ito. Merchandise inventory is to be valued at 74. Accounts receivable is 95% collectible. Interest accrued on the notes receivable will be recognized. Interest on notes payable to be accrued at 14% annually from April 1, 2019. The furniture and fixtures are to be valued at 46,000. Office supplies on hand that have been charged to expense in the past amounted to 4,000 pesos. This will be used by the partnership. Required, prepare all the journal entries to record the formation of the partnership. Okay, sa mga, sus sa mga sa partnership, sa formation ng partnership, normally nakaka-encounter tayo ng mga adjustments prior mag-form ng partnership. Which is, yung mga adjustment na yon is ire-reflect natin sa capital accounts ng mga partners. Ang required ay journal entries to record the formation of the partnership. So, i-recall lang natin yung mga basic procedures sa accounting for partnership for, for, formation. Okay, ito yon Partnership formation, sa books ng mga proprietor, ang gagawin muna natin is i-adjust ang assets and liabilities in accordance with the agreement. And after ng adjustment, Iko-close na natin yung books ng proprietor. Kasi, mawawala na yung proprietorship, magkocombine-combine na sila, magiging partnership na sila. So, kailangan i-close yung books ni proprietor. Okay, eto yung mga adjustments and la sa assets and liabilities in accordance with the partnership agreement, which is ire-reflect natin sa kanilang mga capital accounts. Then, after makonsider yung adjustment, Iko close na natin yung books ni Medina. Ngayon, after ng closing naman ng books ng mga proprietor, 
i-open na natin ang books ng partnership. And ang note dito, sa books ng proprietor, sa adjustment ng assets and liabilities, any gains, losses, income, expenses, adjustment will be reflected directly to capital account. Ibig sabihin, any temporary account or any income statement account na mag -e exist considering yung mga adjustments in accordance with partnership agreement is i-record natin directly sa capital account ng proprietor. Okay, for the convenience ng ating discussion, nire-write na lang muna natin yung balance sheet or yung statement of financial position ni Leopoldo Medina para hindi na tayo magpapalipat-lipat ng page. And first step in accounting for formation of partnership is to adjust the assets and liabilities in accordance with the partnership agreement. So, ire-reflect na natin itong mga adjustment na naka-indicate sa problem. Number one, merchandise inventory is to be valued at 74,000 pesos. So, ire-reflect natin yung adjusting entry for merchandise inventory. So, bago natin i-reflect itong inventory na adjustment na to, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, sa ginagamit nating textbook ngayon, itong problem na to kasi is galing lang din to sa textbook. And kung hindi ako nagkakamali, ito, lahat na to ay nakakompound entry dun sa libro. Ngayon, ang ginagawa natin is, ibe-breakdown lang natin itong anim na to para makita natin kung bakit naging ganun yung entry sa book na ginagamit natin ngayon. Iisa-isahin natin instead yung entry for further discussion ng accounting for partnership formation. Merchandise inventory is to be valued at 74,000. Ang inventory per balance sheet ni Medina is 80,000. Ngayon, per agreement, naging 74,000 na lang dapat siya. Ibig sabihin, mababawasan ng 6,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, yung inventory account, ang normal balance niya ay debit. So, kapag nabawasan siya, ikikredit natin yung difference. We have 80,000 minus 74,000 is 6,000 pesos. Ngayon, ang corresponding na debit niya is yung capital account. Lahat ng expense or losses or gains, revenues or income or any income statement accounts is ia-adjust na siya directly sa capital account ng proprietor. Medina Capital 6,000 pesos. So sa pagsasagot natin nung mang, or sa paggagawa natin ng mga adjusting entries, Medina Capital na lang muna for the convenience ulit ng discussion yung gagamitin natin. Kasi medyo mahaba yung account title ng Leopoldo Medina Capital Account. Number 2. The accounts receivable is 95% collectible. Ang accounts receivable dito ay 240,000. And 95% dyan, collectible. Kung 95% ay collectible, yung 5% na naiwan is an collectible uncollectible yung 5% ng receivable. Meaning, kung 5% yung uncollectible, ang balance dapat ng allowance for uncollectible accounts, AFUA means allowance for uncollectible accounts, is yung 5% dapat ng receivable, which is 240 thousand pesos. 5% times 240 is 12,000 pesos. Gagawa tayo soon ng discussion ng accounts receivable sa mga susunod na topics na yon sa higher accounting. Okay. 
allowance for doubtful accounts is 12,000 pesos. And ang allowance for uncollectible accounts sa balance sheet ay 10,000. Pero dapat 12,000 na siya. Meaning, kulang yung nakalagay dito na allowance for uncollectible accounts. So, allowance for uncollectible accounts per statement of financial position is 10,000 pesos. Meaning, magkakaroon ka pa dapat ng 2,000 na dagdag sa allowance for uncollectible accounts para maging 12,000 pesos yung balance niya. So, ang entry to record yung adjustment na 2,000 is debit Medina Capital na 2,000 pesos lang credit allowance for uncollectible accounts na 2,000 pesos. Okay, Balik ulit tayo sa allowance for uncollectible accounts na 5% ng 240,000 pesos. Once na ang basis ng percentage ng uncollectible accounts ay balance sheet account, yung accounts receivable, yung figure na mag-a-arrive doon is yun yung required allowance for uncollectible accounts. Number three. Interest accrued on notes receivable will be recognized. Ten thousand twelve percent dated July one and twenty thousand twelve percent dated August one twenty nineteen. Okay, ngayon naman magkocompute tayo ng interest. So sa pagkocompute natin ng interest is bukod yung computation ng ten thousand, bukod den yung computation ng twenty. Thousand pesos. Hindi natin yung pagsasamahen. Ko compute natin yun nang magkahiwalay. So number three, ko compute mo na natin yung interest. Okay, interest. Una, doon sa ten thousand na notes receivable, ten thousand pesos principal times rate twelve percent times yung time. Okay. Ang date ng notes receivable is July 1, 2019. Hindi natin alam hanggang saan ba natin or hanggang saan yung time na i-recognize natin yung interest. From the time na date ng notes receivable hanggang sa time ng formation ng partnership. Ibig sabihin, yung time dito would be July 1 hanggang October 1. Okay. July 1. Ilang buwan yun? July 1. August. July, sorry. July, August, September. 3 months. Okay. 3 over 12. 10,000 pesos times 12% times 3 over 12. Total interest is 300 pesos. Okay, doon naman tayo sa 20,000. 20,000 pesos times same rate 12% pero magkaiba sila ng date. Ang date ng notes receivable na 10 na 20,000 ay August 1. So, ibig sabihin yung time dito would be August 1 hanggang October 1. Ilang months yung August 1 hanggang October 1? August, September. Dalawang buwan. Meaning, yung time natin would be 2 over 12. 20,000 times 12% times 2 over 12 is equal sa 400 pesos. Therefore, total interest income na i-recognize natin is 300 plus 400 700 pesos. Total interest na ni-record natin is 700 pesos. Okay. Ang entry to record the interest income is debit. Interest. 
receivable, 700 pesos credit interest income. Since na hindi na natin or i-adjust directly sa capital accounts ang mga income statement accounts na mag i exist sa mga adjusting entries, ang, ang credit to recognize the interest income is Medina Capital na 700 pesos. Next. Interest on notes payable to be accrued at 14% annually from April 1, 2019. Okay, magkukumpit ulit tayo ng interest. Pero this time, sa notes payable naman. So, ito naman ay interest expense. Number 4. Interest. Notes payable per statement of financial position ni Medina is 40 thousand pesos times rate is 14 percent times april 1 hanggang october 1 2019 date ng formation ng partnership april may june july august september 6 over 12. 40,000 pesos times 14% times 6 over 12 is equal sa 2,800. Yung interest na nasa notes payable na dapat nating i-recognize. To record yung interest on notes payable, so instead na interest expense ang i-record natin, Sa capital, yung debit. Debit, Medina, capital, 2,800 pesos. Credit, interest, payable, 2,800 pesos. Number five. The furniture and fixtures are to be valued at 46,000 pesos. Okay, per agreement, 46,000 na lang yung value dapat ng furniture and fixtures. Pero sa balance sheet ni Leopoldo Medina, ang cost of furniture and fixtures is 6,000 accumulated depreciation na 6,000 pesos. Okay. Number five, ang carrying amount ng furniture and fixtures sa balance sheet ni Medina is 60,000 minus 6,000 pesos. 54,000 yung carrying amount. Pero yung value agreed ng partners is 46 thousand dapat yung furniture and fixtures merong adjustment na 8000 pesos okay ibig sabihin yung 6000 na accumulated depreciation sa balance sheet ni Medina is dadagdagan pa natin ng 8000 pesos para mag-reflect yung agreed value nila na 46. 60 minus 6 is 54. 54 minus 8 is 46,000 pesos. Para i-record yung adjustment sa number 5, debit Medina Capital na 8,000 pesos Credit, accumulated depreciation, furniture, and fixtures na 8,000 pesos. Number 6, office supplies on hand that have been charged to expense in the past amounted 4,000 pesos. This will be used by the partnership. Ibig sabihin, merong office supplies si Medina na na-record niya na as expense. 
kapag ang supplies is na record through or kapag na expense ang supplies ibig sabihin nun nagamit yung supplies pero sabi dito this will be used by the partnership ibig sabihin yung 4000 pesos na worth of supplies is gagamitin pa lang sa partnership which is hindi pa dapat siya expense ngayon para i-record yung office supplies debit office supplies amounting 4000 pesos credit Medina Capital, 4,000 pesos.